it's nasty. <laughs> Why do you always have to have pretty pictures? What happens when your picture turns out nasty? What happens then? Basically, that you can fix a mistake by putting a mat just right in the right spot. That's what that was. <laughs> Good morning, Earthlings. Hey, I'm dressed like a slob today because I'm going to show you what you can do with pictures that don't turn out like this one. This old wolf thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I just put a smaller mat on it. Yeah. <laughs> what to do with your picture if it doesn't turn out? <laughs> well, there's lots of stuff you can do with a picture that's nasty. One is you can put it aside and say, hey, there's a nasty painting. But what I do, I flip it over and use the other side for practice paper for the next time. And also, it's really fun to write sayings over them. If you just had a really nice saying you th that you loved, you could write it with the calligraphy pen over it. That's a great way to get rid of an ugly painting. <laughs> I painted this a long time ago. It was kind of a wolf series that I did. And this one, it didn't really, I mean, it's cute, but what do you do with this? Well, I'm going to leave it as is, and I'm going to just mat it. And I'm like, ah, watch. We mat it just right. And it goes from kind of a, ooh, what's that? To one of the prettiest dogs you've ever seen. And it's neat because it's got my kind of signature look to it because there's a lot of white. But all we need to do is, is put it on there so that you don't put it on to fit the paper. You put it on to fit your eye, where your eye. Okay, so um, there it is. I think I really love it now, though. <laughs> I was gonna, I was putting this together to sell it in a show, but oops. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it, and then I'm gonna put it in this way. And I do have tape. <laughs> Jeez, I'm always losing things. And I just love it, because it gives me a chance to pray, because I'm always like, Father God, help me find it. <laughs> He's like, you're so silly. You can't see it. It's right in front of you. A lot of times it'll be on my hand. So that kind of shows me where I want to cut it. And what I'm going to do with the rest of this paper is use it for practice paper. Or I, know I could put a, make a bookmark out of it. I never throw away paper, and I'm not a hoarder with paper. I just find really great things to do with it. Yep. And, all right. So I guess it's like right there. I'm gonna cut some on the bottom too. Don't cut too much. This size would make a really nice. You know what I'd do? Is I'd paint something really pretty on it because it's got this really neat edge on the bottom. I'd paint something pretty on that and give it to my friend for a gift. <laughs> That's what I would do. So here he is. I couldn't find the tape. You know why? Because it's right up here where I put it up on the top thing. Now it's here. This is the expensive kind of tape. You use expensive tape. You don't use cheap tape for this. And I'll put a link in the description at the bottom if I can find it. Anyway, I put that there so it'd stay out of the way. <laughs> then I couldn't find it. So I'm just going to take two little pieces. I don't want to take too much because I don't want to overkill it. Okay, and then I'm going to put it right where I want it. And I don't want it centered. I don't, I don't think it would be great centered. I think if he's up in the corner like this. I'm going to move over until he's just right where he needs to be. That's good. Oh, now that's good. That's fine. So now I'm going to put the tape on the top and the bottom. Just a little bit. Now, I don't worry about my... Oops. I don't worry about my pictures buckling because of the way that I paint. I don't fully saturate the water at any time. I, I saturate the parts where I'm painting. So I don't worry about paint, putting it on a board or anything. 
I just, and so see, there's no buckling. People are always like, how do you keep your water from buckling? Well, that's how. I just don't use a whole lot of water when I paint. It's just where I need it. So I'm going to sign it. I like to sign it with a C and it looks like an E. I don't know what it, I don't know my signature, it's kind of goofy. I, cause I've been so many different people. I, I was born at Clemens, then my mother changed my name to Pullman so I could be like my stepfather. Then when I realized it was Pullman I didn't like it, I went back to Clemens. But it was almost too late cause then I married a Wells. And then after that I kind of went back, I went back to Clemens, but then I married a Sanchez. Oh, so then I went back to Clemens, and then when I married, oh my goodness, I don't even remember how, I'm like Liz Taylor. So I just went back to Clemens, which is the name my father had. I love it. It's spelled weird, but that's what I go by. So why the signature? Oh, because I don't know who I am. I do like that. <laughs> it's kind of a C W S. Thing. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing it in the corner, and then I do the year, and then that's all. <laughs> that's all. That's what it looks like. No big deal. So now I have this. I'm going to stick it in a plastic. These mats always come, well, maybe they don't always come. But they should always come with a plastic sleeve. You put it in, you put it in like there. Now I'm gonna put, holy moly! Do you see that? This is the cutest little thing now that I've matted it. How did that happen? I'm not gonna close it because I'm gonna put a little insert in there telling that I painted this on the Fabulous Traveling Art Studio so that they can always know. Here's something. Something from long ago. But it has potential, I guess. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look at it. Like, oh, okay, that's better. That's better. So wherever, uh, I like this part of the top up here. Oh, see? See what you can do? Now it's an amazing painting that you can put on your wall. It went from this ugly kind of bug thing <laughs> to what it shares original artwork. Just instantaneously. And by me pulling it up there, because I like this part of it. Uh, <laughs> this thing. Where is it? It's right there. So I put it like that. So now now that I have it there. And you're saying, oh, you're going to ruin that painting. It was ruined. It was ruined. It was ruined and I was going to throw it away. So I'm not ruining it by, color, by cutting it, even though I'm cutting part of the picture away. That part of the picture was, was stupid. It was a liability. <laughs> here goes another part. I said I don't like to throw any of the paper away. And this is just a teeny piece, but you know what this is perfect for? Is lighting those candles that are too that are too deep to you light them with these. Hey, okay, so now we're gonna cut the bottom off of this. Thing. I'm leaving enough room so I can tape it, and then this is where this is where the magic comes in. Okay, this is it. Okay is getting it just perfect in there just like that like that and then i put the tape down where's the tape go <laughs> holy moly i got it i got it don't worry i got it don't you don't have to help me today so i'm going to just take two little pieces you don't need a whole bunch i mean we're not <laughs> preparing for an earthquake with this today it'll be all secure and like I said before, there's no, there's no buckling. It doesn't buckle. I'm taping it, just taping it like this. There you go. There. Now I sign it. 
why don't I sign it before this? If I signed it before this, it would be me saying, I'm okay with this picture. And I wasn't, but now I am. So I'm going to sign it so that you can see it in the mat. Doesn't that make sense? Yes, it does. I'm going to sign it right here. Oh, no. I only have one more mat out of 20 mats. <laughs> I, I did. I went through 20 mats like that. Well, I'm getting ready for a show. So here this is going in here. And you're going to see right before your very eyes, this thing has gone from kind of an ugly picture that's been around for a long time to something that's actually sellable. Holy moly. No, that's not sellable. I'm keeping it. <laughs> but see, I would put that on a sale table for ten dollars somebody could get this original painting for ten bucks and it's okay and put it on the they put it in the bedroom or the bathroom or something it's a great great way to put a wall together right so I think that's all I'm going to show you in here basically that you can fix a mistake by putting a mat just right in the right spot that's what that was so, like I said, I'm getting ready for a show, and I only have one mat left, and I've got a lot of paintings here that I'm going to take, and I was just going to go through these old ones that I, I'd never liked them. This one is really kind of cool, but if we put it in a mat and make it smaller, it might actually, oh, oh. See, I did another one like this that I actually liked, and so I I use I put my cards I, I made it into a card, um, but this one was one of the B paintings. But you put it in, you take this, and you put it in a mat in the right place, in the right place, and it turns out to be something I can sell this now. I could. Somebody would buy this, think, oh, that's my daughter and her dog, and um, just love it for forever. So I'm happy. I'm happy with this. This is good. So what we do now is we cut it. So how scientific am I? You think I'm... You think I'd make a good scientist by the way that I just cut and... <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm in the right profession. Okay, so here it is. And that's good. That's very good. I'm gonna take that with me to the show and people are not gonna ask questions. They're gonna say, ha, huh, that's my daughter and her dog. Or I just really like the colors in it and I thought it should go in my, in my bedroom. Or, I just really like your art and I wanted to have a piece, but easily, easily I could sell this for a $10 bill. And that's all I really need right now. You know, I'm just trying to keep myself afloat and trying not to ask my kids to help me. Help your mother because she's an artist. She chose artists to be her profession and she doesn't make any money on it. <laughs> I didn't say that, did I? Okay, here we go. And it's, it just needs a little bit more cut on this side. That's why you measure it. You measure it so you don't have this issue. After you tape it, you have to cut it again. That's silliness. <laughs> it's ready for the plastic. <laughs> do I make do I make it easy for you to learn stuff or or not? <laughs> or not. <laughs> I'm gonna ha I have a lot of work. Now, what happened was Dan Patrick's... Good morning, Dan. Oh, hi, Cher. How are you? What are you doing? We're having um, an amazing art walk on Camano Island. I'm going to have a booth up there, and I was hoping that you're going to be able to share my space. I've got this table over here that I'm going to make ready for you here. It's going to help me. He has a booth, and I'm going to sell my stuff at his booth. So we'll see if we can get along Oops, I will see how we do. Not only that, I am highly organized. This goes in the seat. 
and this is all the plastic that I have. And if I can't find a piece of plastic here, I can't find it anywhere. If you always want to save this plastic stuff, save it so it's nice. You never know when you're going to want to put a picture in it. And I can put these, you know, my, my nasty ones in there just to keep them from getting any nastier. Where am I now? Oh. Where did I go? Where am I? Okay, so now she's completely ready for the plastic. And a $10 bill on this girl, she's going to find her forever home. I know. She's cheaper than a puppy. <laughs> Holy cow. Anything is cheaper than puppies. This is going on. But you can't have a puppy if you can't afford to buy it. You probably don't have enough money to keep it alive. So they don't want you to have it. Hey, okay, so... Oh, I'm ready for my show. I've got lots of pictures that have to do with what I'm doing because I have to get rid of them somehow. But I also have lots of pictures here that have nothing to do with anything. They're just pictures that I painted long ago. But they're still okay. And I'm glad that I saved them. In fact, I, I was saying I probably have 500 pictures, paintings, original paintings, in this very room and I've showed people I showed my um, my cousin you gotta meet my cousin my cousin came to see me and he's looked in who's this out here hey Hi. it's my cousin Dave hey look it's my cousin Dave it's Gladys's son he's coming to see us he were going in there come on Am I upside down? Upside down. Okay. Upside He's down? not. We're. We're not upside down. <laughs> but the camera's upside down. How's the camera upside down? The camera's not upside down. <laughs> I like the musician ones. These are really, really good. I'm taking pictures of pictures today. <laughs> He's taking pictures of my pictures. <laughs> um, I got stuffed everywhere. Anyway, that's all I'm going to show you on matting. It's pretty simple. Um, I start with the mat size, and so I don't ever have a problem with that. Start with the mat size, cut the paper so that it'll fit in there, and use the front, use the back if you need to. I mean, I, I don't think that any when they open this up, they're going to put it right into a frame. Maybe they'll see the back, and they'll see a funny picture on the back. That's okay. They get a two-for-one. <laughs> so anyway, until later, I'm going to work. <laughs> no, actually, I'm going to go to the beach. <laughs> I hope you enjoy that bunch of nonsense and I hope that you find solutions to your pictures when they don't turn out. <laughs> Until later, <laughs> I'm going to work. Hey, I hope you find your yacht and I hope you understand how important your water is. Get to know your water. Take a bath. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> So how's your coffee, Jones? <laughs> huh? Well, he doesn't like the coconut milk. He goes, how do you milk a coconut anyway? He doesn't get it. 